Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kathleen and in today's video we're going to be doing a no makeup makeup look on my mature skin. So if that interests you, stay tuned. So like I said in my intro, we're going to be doing a no makeup makeup look. I'm going to be using uh, the Jones Road Foundation. Here it is in light clair. And I'm going to be using the Jones Road Happy Hour Blush. Along with some other products, I'm going to be using some concealer. I'm going to use uh, a little bit of mascara. I'm going to be using, uh, obviously, my eyebrows with some Benefit eyebrow pencils. And I'm going to be using this Trish McAvoy uh, eyelid on the um, brightener under eye, as well as uh, a lip product that I have. Okay, so before we get started, I think the number one thing to improve, um, the number one thing you can do is definitely you have a skincare routine that will improve the integrity of your skin. Um, I can tell you from my own experience that my skin, you know, I guess what, you know, I had never worn makeup in my younger years. I just didn't like it. I wore a little mascara, maybe a little blush. Uh, a little, maybe a tiny bit of eyeliner under my eye, but for the most part, I really didn't like uh, the way that, you know, foundation looked on my skin. I really didn't like heavy eyes on my eyes. I didn't like bright lips. I didn't like any of that. But as I aged, I really felt like, you know, I needed to do something. My skin, I don't know, like even in my 30s and 40s, I didn't really wear any makeup. But once I hit 50, it was like, wow, my skin changed drastically. And it was right around the time I was going through menopause. I really didn't have a great skincare routine, so I started looking into some products. And the number one thing that I think have, that's helped my the integrity of my skin was Trentinol. I think it was like 0.25%. Uh, and I started to do that, and it made my skin very dry, but in the same respect, and after about like six months, I noticed my skin looked like I had skin. Like I didn't look like this, like, I don't know, like this heavy, I don't know, like paste on my skin, right? And it kind of started to remove all those dead skin cells. And I started to see like some vibrancy and some radiance back into my skin, which I really appreciated. Um, it didn't do anything really too much for the fine lines and the sagginess or anything like that, but it did help the overall integrity of my skin. And I didn't want to look like I was 20 or 30. I just wanted to look my skin to look healthy for, you know, a 50 year old. And I've been using it ever since. And I can tell you that's the number one thing that has helped the integrity of my skin as well as using a sunblock. So. I use a sun, I, every day, every night, I wash my face twice a day, right? I do it in the morning, I have a nighttime skincare routine. Um, usually two or three times a week, I'll use a retinol, tretinoin type product on my skin, as well as uh, another product that I started using um, probably about two or three months ago. This particular brand is the Geek and Gorgeous Sea Glow Serum. I don't know if you can see that. It is a 15% vitamin, vitamin C serum. It's a small little indie company in um, in Hungary. They manufacture the product. Um, they, you know, they make a fresh batch like weekly in in their manufacturing plant. So it's one of those things where I t definitely appreciate the fact that it's number one, fifteen percent. Number two, that it does sort of give my skin a healthy glow, and that's why it's called Sea Glow. It's fifteen percent vitamin C Sea Glow serum. This will definitely help protect your skin and also remove any of those dead skin cells. Because your skin will get dry using Tretinoin if you've never used it before. As well as using definitely a sunblock. I started incorporating a sunblock no matter when. Like even if there were, I was in the house and I was, it was rainy out that day. Like I didn't want to take the chance of going out and the sun being out. And then having, you know, being sun exposure and, and starting to see like my melasma and stuff like that come back. And I did start to see, um, you know, a, a brighter look to my skin overall once I started using the Trentinoin. This past winter, I also incorporated another product, which I'm loving. It is called Ouzo, and it is a stem cell serum complex. Um, it's, a, again, it's a very small company. They have two products. They have these stem cell products. They have a stem cell serum and they have a stem cell moisturizer. I think they have like maybe an eyeliner or something like that. And I can tell you that this has definitely improved the brightness of my skin and also the firmness of my skin. I feel like my skin has gotten a lot tighter. It doesn't feel like it's like sagging as much. 
Um, it's a stem cell moisturizer. It's a, it's a plant-based cosmeceutical. And it, they've taken the stem cell of a Swiss apple and made it into this really uh, proprietary blend with some other um, type of plants. And it is definitely has improved the, the whole overall look to my skin on top of doing these other things. So it's not just one thing that you're gonna do, but I do believe in the active ingredients like a tretinoin, a stem cell uh, serum, using spending money on those products, and then just kind of locking it in with a really inclusive moisturizer. And you know, I can tell you this one has really, and it's made specifically for makeup application. So if you're looking for your makeup to look overall healthy looking, this is definitely a product worth giving a shot. Okay, and they also have a moisturizer too that you can put on over the top of it. But if I were like struggling between which one to get and I wanted to change the, uh, the overall appearance of my skin, I would get the serum and just have that do its job and then put a moisturizer over the top. A moisturizer is just gonna lock in, you know, and keep your skin hydrated and moist where a stem cell is actually gonna go to, you know, down into the layers of your skin and actually improve like, you know, the production of collagen and do some more things to improve the integrity of your skin. Okay, I feel like I said integrity an awful lot there, but anyway, <laughs> these things have worked. Okay, so let's get started on the skincare, and not the skincare, the makeup look, the no makeup makeup look, which I am excited to get started. Um, this is a look that I would do if I was just running out to go food shopping, if I was taking my grandsons to the park, if I was just, you know, hanging out and, you know, just really wanted to feel like I did something to, you know, try that day and make me feel like I, you know, because makeup for me is more about how it makes me feel. You know, it does look better when I put it on and then I think I feel better. So it kind of has, it works. Let's start, I'm gonna start first. Uh, excuse the band-aid here. I went and had something biopsied this morning at the dermatologist office, so. Anyway, so I'm gonna start with this very light uh, eyebrow pencil, okay, and the number three. Mirror here so I can see what I'm doing. And what I'm gonna do is just do a very light filling in of my eyebrow. Now this eyebrow, because they just biopsied, this is like you can see it's a little sagging there. I'm gonna go in and just fill in the brows. So if you don't do anything else, that day and you're going out and you really don't want to put any makeup on, definitely fill your brows in. Or if you are blessed with a good set of brows, just take it like a brow gel and go over and uh, fill in your brows just to kind of make them look like they're not dull looking. And go in and fill in the brows. And then here I would go and just make like hair like strokes. So I don't want, I want to look super natural, like I really didn't put any brows on, but these are just like my natural looking brow. So go in and do that. I'm gonna go over here. Hold on a second, I'm gonna do a better job pulling this back. This is in uh, number three, it's in the color taupe. Is that what they call it? Yeah, taupe. You can't go wrong with taupe. If you have even like a dark, dark eyebrow, you can fill it in with like a taupe color just to kind of Make it pop a little bit more. Sorry, I have to look over here in that mirror. Okay, so that is my eyebrows. I filled those in. Okay, next I'm gonna go in. And I am going to conceal any spots that I have on my face. And I will go around and lightly cover up like some redness around my nose. On my forehead, okay, over here. I have a blemish here. Fill that in. This is a very light concealer. I'm not gonna go underneath my eye with this concealer because that will be a dead giveaway that I put some type of, um, that I put makeup on, right? And the goal is to make it look like we don't have any makeup on. Then I go around and I'm gonna take a brush. I'm probably just gonna take this concealer brush and go in and just kinda dab that into the skin all over okay 
And then next I'm gonna go in and I, like I said, I'm going to take this uh, Jones Road. I'm gonna go in and I am going to, not I've already done a video on this once before, and but I did it with a makeup brush. Don't use a makeup brush if you have Jones Road and don't use a, um, a, a beauty blender. Use your fingers. It's the best way to apply it and apply it as if you were putting on a moisturizer. So this is the color, right? It's a light color. Go in, I'm going to take, enough that you like a moisturizer amount that you would put on. And I'm gonna go around and I am going to tap that into my skin all over. Now when this goes on, it feels very much like you're putting a moisturizer on your skin. It smells like it and it feels like it. So if you like the feel of a moisturizer or the smell of a moisturizer, it smells very spa-like feeling, then go in and just kind of rub that in all over. The first time I did this, I figured I wanted to see how it was gonna go on with a beauty blender and a makeup brush. And it has, like I said, it's like a moisturizer, so it really, I don't know, it got very oily looking or something. I didn't like the way it felt. Okay, blending it in all over. And when it first goes on, it feels very, very tacky feeling. Like it feels like a moisturizer. It feels like a very inclusive moisturizer. And it does take a little bit for it to kind of calm down a little bit. I shouldn't say that to, it, to, for it to penetrate into the skin and have the skin feel like it's not tacky anymore. So you, get, you have to give it some time. So when it first goes on, you feel like, oh God, it's really tacky feeling. But then after a while, like your skin feels very hydrated, it feels very nice, and it doesn't feel tacky. I would say after like, I don't know, 45 minutes or so. So it does take a while. I'm just gonna ignore that band-aid there. Now, if you don't like a glow to your skin, um, then you might wanna go over it with a really finely milled powder. I don't mind a healthy glow to my skin. I really don't. I think it looks healthy. Some people are like, they think it looks oily or shiny. Well, my skin is very dry and I don't mind that it looks like it's glowing and it doesn't look like it's dry. So anyway, that's it. I would just blend that in with my fingers and then just kind of tap it in all over. And that would be it. So you can see. That does not look like I have makeup on, right? That looks very, and it doesn't look powdery, it doesn't look dry. Okay, next I would go in. All right, I would go in and I would take this product from Trish McAvoy, it's the Instant Eye Lift. And I would go in and clean, uh, cover up, cover up, use it under my eyes just to kind of lift up my eyes. But this is very much, again, this is all like a moisturizer. It's not, it's super light. So I'd go in, kind of make a V there, all the way around, go here. And then just take my concealer brush. I'm using this one here by um, Sonia G. And go in and just kind of lift up that under eye with this. Just to brighten it up. So comment below, let me know, have you ever used the Jones Road product? What's your thoughts on it? I've heard so many mixed things on it. Um, I was on the fence about it for the longest time, only because I didn't like sticking my finger into a product and I figured, I don't know, it just didn't seem uh, sanitary to me to keep sticking my fingers in a product. <laughs> it was a stupid thing. That's the one thing that kept me away from it. I was like, oh, I don't like sticking my fingers in a product. But then I got it and I, you know what? My skin is so dry that I really liked it and I felt like my skin felt hydrated as opposed to feeling dry like in the you know if I would look at my skin like the middle of the day after putting foundation on and I would see like like just dry patches all over my skin that to me is more offensive than having my skin look glowy okay so can you see how that kind of made my uh, under eye brighten up a bit 
just by doing that. It has like a slight pinkish tinge to it. This is the Instant Eye Lift. <clears throat> Again, it's by Trish McAvoy. It's very lightweight. And you can see that there. Okay. You can see it has like a pinkish, a pinkish tinge to it, but it blends in very nicely to the skin. Okay. Next, I would go in and I would take the uh, Jones Road, and this is the blush that she has. It's in the color Happy Hour, and it looks like that. Again, it's very light, and you'll see it looks very natural looking on the skin. Okay. Almost looks like I'm not even putting anything on. I don't know how many of you go out in your car and look in your rear view mirror to see your makeup. Well, when I do that outside, I feel like it's like just, again, it's like a healthy glow to the skin. You can see how it just kind of brightened up this side of the face. She does have, you know, I think she has 10 different shades of foundation and five different blush foundation. This is the one that's the most natural. And I could even bring this down a little bit on here, which I normally wouldn't do with the blush because I feel like it would make my cheeks look too heavy. But this just kind of gives it like a, a natural glow to it. And I'm gonna just keep tapping that into the skin. Okay. Okay, next I would go in. What would I do next? I would go in and I would take a tiny bit of the concealer. Now I'm not going to do anything on my eyes at all, any eyeshadow. I'm just going to leave that. You can see I have, if you look at my eyes here, like it's darker coming down there. I would just leave that. Leave that like almost like my eyeshadow. But I would go in and try to make those brows look like they were lifted up a little bit more. they didn't look too heavy so that would just kind of enhance that brow a little bit more so it looked like it was the arch was a little bit higher and this one again it's because I just had this thing biopsied this morning like it's a little swollen so I mean the eye like you can see it's like a lot lower than this side over here and I think that's from whatever he did here but it still go up underneath there And just kind of arch right underneath the arch there and just kind of put that concealer there just to kind of give it a little bit of a lift and you can definitely see it on this side a little bit better than you can on this side with the band-aid <clears throat> okay and then next i would go in and i would take um a little bit of mascara and go in there now i wouldn't go heavy with the mascara but i would oh you know what i so even if you didn't want to put mascara on, I would go in with a, um, I would go in with a lash curler and go in and lift those lashes up. I'm going to take a look at my lashes. My lashes are curly and I do have, I do have healthy lashes. That's the one thing I'll say about my, my eyes. Um, so I do have lashes. So I would go in and I would lift up. I mean, you could put, just put a serum on if you wanted to, like a lash serum as opposed to putting mascara on. And I would go in and just lift these up, just so it kind of opens up the eye. I would do that, and then I would go in with a mascara. <clears throat> I would go right underneath and kind of lift it up. Now, I wouldn't go too heavy with the mascara. Again, we were looking for a no makeup makeup look. Okay, if it got too heavy, like which this really didn't get too heavy, I would just take a clean mascara wand and just make sure that there was no clumps on there and just kind of lift it up and out. Okay, next I would go in and I'm going to go and I would use a, um, a lip color. And I'm going to use this one by Hourglass. I'm going to use this lip pencil here. It is in the color, what color is this? Oh, Tempt 3. Sorry, that took me a while to figure that out. Go in and fill in my lips, and I would take a lip pencil that is the same color as my lip, at least the same tone as my lip, just to kind of enhance them. 
So I would go in and I would just go in there and fill that in. I wouldn't over go over the line of it. I would just go in and lightly fill it in. And you can see that this is like my lip color. Okay, I would go in and do that. And if you put a lipstick on, a lipstick is gonna, that would be the dead giveaway. And I'm gonna take this, uh, again, this lip balm in the color, what color is this? Scents, okay, it's a lip color scents. And it's just a balm, so it's gonna be almost like a lip gloss, or I would use like a lip oil, anything like that, or just even a chapstick. And go in and fill that in. Again, so you can see that that is just very natural. Okay, so anyway, um, if you gained any value, please consider subscribing. If you have any comments or questions about this makeup look that I just did, please leave them below. And, and I will see you in my next video. Okay, so there you go. There is my natural makeup, makeup look on a mature skin.